What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of E-Electric Productions. I'm Jay and today I'm bringing you Door Kickers Action Squad. Now before we even jump into Action Squad, I just want to point out this is indeed an early access. There's a lot of content for being in early access and that's not an issue, but right here they let you know leaderboards are coming, two more ultimate abilities, one new enemy, new missions, and guys, crazy secret sauce. Now, I don't know about you guys, the other stuff I could live without, but that crazy secret sauce that I need. Now, that's all coming in December. Let's jump into the game, though. Now, if you have played Door Kickers before, it is a top-down 2D uh, tactical game where you could direct your, your squad to go in and try to take uh, terrorist situations, hostage situations, and disarm them by any means necessary. They were It was a lot of fun. It was a blast to play. I loved it. I actually had it on my phone and on my PC so I could play it uh, both locations, on the go or at my desk. And uh, this game is nothing like that one. Uh, it's not a bad thing. It's just totally different. So if you loved Door Kickers, take this one as a almost a standalone title, brand new title, even though it carries that Door Kickers name. One thing of note here in the options menu, if you go into graphical options, there's actually anti-aliasing. And you can choose between MSAA, let's see here, CSAA, CFAA, FXAA, MLAA, SMAA, TXAA. There's a lot of options here, guys. And so let's go with MLAA. And then you can actually select the detail level. So, I mean, it goes all the way up to 64. Uh, let's see, honestly, these don't do anything. Well, let's put it on Ultra. Right, okay, looks like, look, it was a joke. XHDR. Take a hint. So, it's the kind of thing that I really appreciate when a game throws in. Is it stupid? Yes. It's just those little attention to details that make a dev team stand apart that says, hey, we know as gamers that we like humor in our games, and, you know, it, it almost like you form a very small inside joke with the dev team. Very small, but it's there nonetheless. So, I got a kick out of that. There is online co-op, and there's local co-op. Now, I'll tell you right now, I'm playing this just single player, and as a single player title, it becomes even more of a tactical shooter, which I like. I like a lot. Um, before I jump into some of the levels, this is what's coming soon in December. And then the, we've got the Radicals. I need one more mission to unlock this this cluster. And I'm in Gangland right now. And I have I have completed a few missions thus far. Um, I really I wanted to make sure I understood the mechanics of this game before I played it. I know usually I do sort of that initial let's play. But with this title, just because it was so different and because these guys do really good content, I didn't want to sell them short on their game, so I wanted to make sure that I knew the mechanics, and I'm glad that I did, because there is a key mechanic in this game that I don't know how I missed it, but I almost missed it, and it really would have changed the entire dynamic of the game. I'll get into that in just one moment. So there's Assaulter, Breacher, and Shield. I really like the Assaulter. I've used all three. The shotgun's nice, uh, but yeah, I'm a fan of the Assaulter. I've unlocked... There's, there's about three weapons per uh, per character right now. Um, you know, three different shotguns and three different pistols. So I've unlocked the M4A1 carbine, and then I've got armor, and I've got these sticky grenades that I love. There's flashbangs, flash, and frag grenades, sorry, and there's a speed pouch for a quicker reload, extra gear so you can carry one extra consumable charge. But for me, right now, this is my setup and I'm pretty happy with it. So this is the first mission, so it's an easy one. And I'll just go over with you really quick. One thing that I've, I said it in my Steam review, they need to add in the ability to customize. Oops, didn't mean to restart the level, but we hadn't gone anywhere yet. Um, so the controller layout, you can see the layout, but you can't tweak the layout. And for me, I need to be able to tweak that layout. I feel like I'm fighting with the controls a little bit here. The controls are responsive, they're clean, but I don't like the layout, so that's more of a, a personal issue. So you can crouch, you can jump, and jump's actually pretty important in this game. You need to use that in order to get out of gunfire sometimes and to jump up through and shoot through windows and things like that. So, uh, And then you've got the kick command here, and B is reload. You can actually fire with the X button or with the right trigger. I prefer the right trigger. Left trigger does your special uh, attack. So, for this guy, it's like an, a, an aimed attack. It's a single bullet that's going to fire straight. It's an aimed shot. And then there's a little recharge in the bottom left-hand corner there, so you can't just spam that attack 
um, rapid fire. Uh, and then we've got, let's see, I feel like I'm forgetting something here. Okay, so there's my special. Go ahead and just gun down these psychos really quick. Now, I want you to pay attention to something that I somehow missed, like, the first four or five times I played this game. Um, or the first four or five levels. In the top left-hand corner, there's a bar. And as I do kills or rescue hostages, you're going to notice that bar go up. Okay, maybe not for rescuing hostages. I guess it's just for... No, 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 there they are. As soon as the hostages run a little bit away from you, they disappear, and that means you've rescued them. Good job. Now, if you notice, <laughs> I've got that bar now filled up. Now, if I do this little uh, left bumper, I kind of go into a crouch mode, and I didn't pick up on this at first, but then you can use your directional pad to choose what you want. Extra life, sniper support, Reinforcement. Uh, I believe that's if your teammate dies and if you're playing co-op, that's why it's grayed out here. A med kit, a gear refill, or body armor. Now, I'm going to do body armor. I'm going to try to. It's not letting me. It's grayed out for some reason. Uh, maybe this character doesn't have it. I don't know. Fine. Let's do sniper support. Pretty awesome, huh? Now, you get those points again by... Um, doing things in the level like rescuing hostages, uh, taking out bad guys. So here we go. Let's move forward. And that's it. Mission complete. Mission nice. So, I mean, that's the first level. It's pretty simple. They actually, it, difficulty ramps up fairly quickly. Not a complaint, Just it just does. The next one was this one. Now, the reason that bar on the top left-hand corner is so important is it took me forever to beat this level. And that's because I didn't realize that I could be refilling my health. I also missed the fact that, <laughs> and I know you're probably like, you, you missed this, how? But you could jump on this dumpster and then climb up this ladder here, which gives you a huge advantage. It's important to pay attention to the levels and your surroundings because it makes all the difference in the world. Now watch this. If somebody's standing next to a door, when you kick it, it will stun them for just a moment. And you are going to need that in this game. And these doors, where they have like, it looks, you can almost see the metal in between. You have to kick them a couple of times. So you know what we're going to do? Whoop. There we go. So you can actually draw enemies to your to the door that you're about to breach by giving it a little, well, this one's not metal core, so you can just kick through it in one one kick. But I'll show you here. Well, we're actually going to drop down and take out that bad guy. Whoa, whoa. Those knife guys are brutal. Now, I have up to my armor level as well. Now, watch. I'm going to kick it. He's going to get curious. Let's kick it one more time so he comes back. And then I'm going to kick it when he gets close. Stuns him and shoot him. Normally, I'd be faster, but I was just trying to give you an example. And watch this. Kick. Throw charge, one more kick. Draw them in close, boom. Uh, it didn't quite work. They gotta be really close to the door, but you get the concept. And rescued. Mission complete. So, um, now I've got an upgraded rifle, which does a lot more damage than my base weapon. I know that probably looks pretty simple, and that's, you know, I get it, granted. So let's go on to one of the later levels now. Um, I did... Well, we'll just do number six, which I have not done. So I've got my body armor, so that helps me a lot. And you unlock these with star points. When you complete a level and do a really good job, you get stars. If you do a great job, you get three stars. Okay, what two, you get it. And then those stars are used to unlock different, uh, different things. So I need two stars to unlock the speed pouch here. And so when you first start the game, yeah, you're a little underpowered. Your weapon's pretty basic. So here we go. There's a shotgunner up there. Um, I'm just going to show you really quick. I could throw the charge. Draw these guys over. Ah. It, you got to have them pretty close. And I'm already doing terrible. Um, that's okay. All right. Time to get serious. Now, if I was to go up that elevator right now, I am going to get just destroyed. I'll show you. Now, that's one thing you can do is you can kind of go up 
and then quickly come back down so that they move a little bit. And then, is it enough? Yep, okay. I was able to get them out of the way. I'm going to kick the door, wait a couple seconds, kick it again, let them get close, and kick it. And it drew at least a couple of guys. Whoa, I'm in trouble. Now, you can see I've already got that bar filled up, so let's go ahead and let's pop a squat here. And we're going to drop a med kit. I'm going to use that med kit to refill myself. And then... I went ahead and filled my armor. My armor's in the bottom right. It's the blue bar next to the red bar, which is my health. Reload often. Um, seriously, like, I get caught every once in a while without the reload, and oh, do I regret it. Thankfully, your ammo is not, uh, is not counted or anything. You have unlimited. Although I will say, if they wanted to do a hardcore mode of this game, Number one, I'd be game, and number two, limited ammunition. That would really raise the difficulty on this game if you had limited ammo. These windows are cool. Now, I'm all out of my special, but now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and duck down, and we're going to do a gear refill. And I did not refill my... Uh... Oh, it's right in front of my face. I'm, I'm a dork. Okay, so here we go. Charge ready. And I totally missed. Charge ready. Now, I blew up one of the hostages, which is really bad. I mean, really, really bad. One, that makes me a total jerk. But more importantly, uh, we're going to lose stars. So, that is no bueno. Let's rescue these poor souls. And my health's getting pretty low here. Whoa! And I bit the bullet. Actually, the knife in this case. So, that's the game in a nutshell. I'm not gonna lie, I really, really like this. I prefer the kind of... I don't wanna say side-scrolling, because, I mean, these are more like open environments that they drop you into and you move around and do what you need to do, but, you know, for lack of a better term, 2D side-scrolling, I prefer to the top-down um, vantage point of the first door kickers. So I really like this a lot. I also like how I have more control over the characters in this one versus the first door kickers where, um, you know, you, you were dragging and telling them to go, you were, like, dragging um, waypoints for them to travel to and things like that. Um, I like this. I like this a lot. Um, I'm a fan of it so far. I, I really am impressed with what they've done here. So what I'll do is I'm going to try to do this mission now for real. I'm going to shut up probably a bit more. <laughs> mission <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take this uh, seriously, guys. I'm going to be quiet here for a minute, and I'm going to I'm going to totally kick this level's butt. Two seconds later, I'm dead. <laughs> uh, I can't even come up with a good excuse. I don't even know what happened there. I'm sorry. Unbelievable. Alright. So let's... I'm already, uh... I'm gonna grab some health here. You get, like, two refills on the health. I'm actually going to go downstairs, I think. I'm going to utilize my sniper ability here. Like, these dudes are pretty intense. There's a lot of them down there. Oh, I grabbed them from up top. All right. Shotgunner back there. My health's already fairly low. I'm gonna go back up here. I think you get two. Yes. And now I think that health gets dead. You get two per uh, per kit you drop. So let's knock. Quick reload. Snipe him. Now there's a lot of these guys down here, and when I go down here, you're gonna see guys. Pouring out of these cages, um, 
Now you'll see what I mean here in a second. Drat, I reloaded at the wrong time. You can hide behind these barrels here, and it will offer you... It will offer you some protection. Rescue all of these peeps. Let them go, and I'm actually going to drop right here. I'm going to drop this, refill, and refill my armor. And I just found a bug in the game. And by bug, I mean this isn't the end of the world. I dropped my gear refill, or my armor refill, on top of my health refill, and now I can't utilize the armor refill. So, um, it's a bummer, but... Quick reload here. Try not to shoot the poor innocent hostages, and let's go. Oh, there's another one. Time to head upstairs. Knock, knock. Man, there is a lot of hostages this level. It's always better to go f um, shoot through the windows if you can. Let's knock, uh... Charge ready. Let's refill my gear. Charge up. We're getting real close here to completing this level. In fact, I thought that was it. We might have to go up top there. So let's do it. Let's go on up. So you can see I'm only, what, like six levels in? Oh, there it is. Man, that is a debacle down there. Um, how do I want to approach this? There's a shotgunner on either side. Okay, I want to be real careful here. Now, if I blow... If I blow that door with a charge, what's going to happen is that glass is going to break and I won't be able to get into the room. So here's what we're going to do. Well, I didn't pay attention to the fact that that wasn't a... Uh, <laughs> There was no steel in the door, so I just kicked right through it instantly. But that worked out, actually. It drew them all down. I am a breath away from death, but I'm still alive. And we're going to drop into the room. You could break glass by jumping on it and rescue these two. Looks like I may have accidentally killed one. Did I? I'm not sure if we're going to get three stars or just two. Three stars. All right. And that puts us at level 7. So guys, that's going to do it. I'm going to try to keep this video a little bit shorter. I know my videos always seem to go to like 20 minutes. My vision for this channel have been like 10-minute videos, and they always end up being like 20 minutes. I'm sorry for that. Um, quick recap for this game. Awesome game. Really like it. Don't let your opinion on the first door kickers um, influence your decision on the second door kickers, which really is not called door kickers as much as just carrying it in the title. Um, but Action Squad is a lot of fun. It's a tactical shooter. I said in my review on Steam, it's almost like a puzzle shooter. It it's, takes a little trial and error to find the right route to take, the most effective route. Definitely don't forget about utilizing that um, the bar, your special bar. I don't know what to call it, because I didn't use that at first, and this game was brutally difficult. But once you utilize that bar that fills up with kills and rescuing hostages, you can be dropping med kits, snipers, all kinds of stuff to benefit you while you're uh, while you're playing. I would love to see a hard mode for this game that took away that bar and took away unlimited ammunition. I don't know what kind of reward they could give you for completing it on that mode. I mean, maybe a special paint for your guns. I don't know. I would just love to see like a brutally hard mode. But I love this game. I really love what they did. The fact that they took the Door Kickers uh, series in a 2D direction, side-scrolling direction, 
and have made it so much fun and both tactical and action-packed and even have some like light RPG elements to it. I mean, really light. Actually, not really RPG, but just the different things that they added in is phenomenal. And I'm really impressed. I'm thrilled to see what they're going to do with this title and what they're going to add to it. And as they continue to refine it, improve it, I think this is an absolute must-buy. It's about $10 right now. And that's fair. I mean, there's so many games I play that are 10 to $12 that are just absolute crap. And this game is not crap. This is a fun game, especially if you can play with another person. I don't have friends, so I don't have anybody to play with. But uh, <laughs> even single player, it's a lot of fun. So thanks so much for stopping by, guys, and watching the video. I hope it helps you guys in some way, shape, or form. And I look forward to seeing all of you on the next episode. Until then, everybody, please game on. Take care. Bye-bye.